That's the view of Italian football expert David Amoyle, speaking on the Calcio Land podcast. Manolas, 27, joined Roma from Olympiacos in 2014 and has played 192 games for them since, scoring nine times along the way. Amoyle explained, there was a ton of buzz on Mino Raiola becoming his agent, Man United fans got excited because they've done a ton of business with Raiola. Maybe the deals haven't worked that great, but Manolas would fit really, really well. I don't think he's in the elite echelon of center backs in Serie A. I'd definitely put him a notch below the Caladu Caliblis, the Milan Scriniers, and the Giorgio Chilinis of the world, but he's right below it. But Manolas has been working with Raiola for a while he was the intermediary of the deal to bring him to Roma from Greece. So I wouldn't read too much into that, but I could see Manolas leaving at the end of the season, and this is the key at the end of the season, because he does have an exit clause, very reasonable, 36 million euros, but that is just valid in the summer, so you can't use it now in January. United have signed Leighton Abrahamovic, Romelu Lukaku, Paul Pogba, Sergio Romero and Henrik Mkhitaryan since 2015 all, of whom are clients of Raiola. But Amoyle thinks Manchester United's vast financial strength will be more crucial to the deal than the fact Manolas works with Raiola. He explained, Manchester United planting the seed now really helps because they can offer him a huge salary. Roma are trying to negotiate a new deal where either they raise that exit clause or they get rid of it altogether, but if Man United tell Raiola we're going to give him a huge salary, it's going to be hard for Roma to get it done. So my guess is it won't be in January, Roma really need him to make the Champions League Roma need the revenue that comes with that. They've been playing a lot better recently, but I wouldn't really be surprised if Raiola is really planting the seed and preparing this transfer for the summer. United are next in action on Sunday afternoon when they take on Tottenham at Wembley in the Premier League.